one of the great violinists and great artists of the century. What Ida offers, only very few have to offer. And this is uh, the profoundest and deepest feeling she, she transmits through her instrument. I think she is one of the very greatest violinists. I have my own opinion how violin should be played, and she is just my player. And she's in the top, for me, two or three of this century. It's always a thrill and a new experience every time you stand on that stage. It's as if you had never played before, because every concert is different. In 1986, my father and I returned to our native land of Poland. I had been invited to judge the Wieniawski International Violin Competition and to perform with the Warsaw Philharmonic Orchestra. It was our first opportunity to return to our roots since leaving this country more than 50 years ago. I was born in the small Polish city of Helm, not far from the border with Russia. This is the first time my father and I have seen Helm since we left here in the 1930s. It was here that one day, when I was three and a half, I said to my mother that I wanted to play my sister Alice's violin. My mother said, don't you dare take uh, Ala, as she was called in Poland, as violin. But I did not listen. I went up to the high table I picked up the violin and I played. Well, my mother was shocked. When I came back from school in the afternoon, she was playing the violin. And I just couldn't believe it because I knew she never held the violin in her hands because I wouldn't have let her touch it. A couple of hours later, my father walked in and uh, my mother announced to him, look, Nathan, Ida is playing. She said, Dad, she didn't let me go. I want her, I want her, I want her to play for you something. Well, when you play, whatever you sing for me, I will play for you. So I don't remember what I, what I was singing, but, but I started to sing, and she immediately started to play. That was like a dream come true to him. All of his life, he wanted to be a solo violinist didn't work out, and he hoped that one of his children would be able to play. I said, no, I can't believe my own ears. I called up that Dobkovsky. He was my friend. He was, he was a, a good fiddler. It was, a, it was such a remarkable feat, I'll never forget that. I said to the father, I said, look here, Nathan, you have a jam. Maybe you don't realize that. Well, this little kid, I say, if you take good care of her, if you don't neglect her, will be a fine violinist someday. This is the one to take care of. Now, tell her what to do. She needs a special man. I said, but there is one I know of in Warsaw. And his name is Professor Michalowicz. And so we went to Warsaw in the spring, the whole family. Here, as a small child, I played the Wieniawski Violin Concerto in D minor. I returned in 1986 to play the same piece with the Warsaw Philharmonic Orchestra, directed this time by Tadeusz Strugawa. I was touched when before going on stage, 
I was greeted by Kazimierz Wielkomirski, who conducted the orchestra when, as a child, I played this concerto here so long ago. When I play the Wieniawski concerto D minor, obviously it bring, brings to mind my very early days, my childhood. I was really very, very moved this time to be playing it again. As far as I can recall, our life in Warsaw was very, very modest. Uh, we lived in one room. My mother tried to do everything to make ends meet. She worked very, very hard. So did my father. The main thing in my life was my family. And I was happy that we were all together. That's, that meant everything to me. I didn't notice the penury. All I noticed was the love, and we always had enough food. My father was always terribly ambitious for me to be a top musician. So whenever a very famous violinist, uh, one of the superstars visited uh, Warsaw, invariably there was Mr. Handel with his baby. Sometimes it was rather difficult to approach these people because they, they, wherever they went, I suppose they were always faced with, with parents who had prodigies. So they tried to get rid of uh, those people. Shimon Goldberg was an internationally known Polish violinist. He was home in Warsaw to visit and father promptly took me to play for him. It was a great experience, really, to see such a tiny, she may have been five years of age, uh, in exp to see such a little something to play so extraordinary with disregard to any difficulties on the very dangerous little piece of, of fingerboard with a tremendous projection already with vibrato and there's just a little uh, miraculous personality. actually Joseph Sigeti. This was the man my father really wanted me to study with. Uh, so one day he came to Warsaw and father decided that he has to make him listen to me at any cost. After the concert, I went into Sigeti and I said, I told him, I have a child, a great talent. So he was just skeptical. I began to play and I was there for at least one hour. He turned towards me as soon as I began to play and he said, well, of course, this is a tremendous talent and it has to be taken care of and nurtured and so on. So my father said, Mr. Zigeti, 
you are the one I would like Ida to study with. He was living in pa Paris that time. So he said, come to Paris and I will teach her. <laughs> 